Have you ever felt like it's difficult to understand Americans in real conversations? Well, first of all, let me reassure you, you are not alone in this. So many students want to be able to bridge the gap between, you know, understanding the English of their English lessons and understanding real conversations, authentic conversations, fast conversations with Americans or with native speakers in general. But, you know, one of the things that makes it difficult for you to do that is that you you don't have a way to like properly train your ears to get the sounds. Of course, you know, you can watch movies, you can listen to podcasts, and those are fantastic activities. But if you want to really up your game, if you want to accelerate your learning, I'm going to take you through an exercise today that is going to help you to do this. It's taken from my course, Understand Real American English, um, and I just want to go through this activity with you to show you how you can do it. Now, this activity, um, this is one of this is the weekend challenge from the previous weekend, but I wanted to go through it uh, with you today. You can get all of these resources in the notes below or in the chat, and I'm going to show you how you can use these exercises and then the full course to really help you to train your ear to stop feeling lost in these conversations with native speakers. So what we're going to do today, we're going to go through this worksheet, um, talking about a past trip with Colleen. And we're really looking at some chunks in context. You guys know that chunks are absolutely essential for increasing your fluency and also understanding quickly uh, when people are speaking fast, you want to be able to like catch those expressions that they say so you can understand without trying to translate in your head, without trying to find the words. And let's just go ahead and jump into this exercise. So in this exercise, um, I'll just go ahead and read the instructions for you and you can follow along with me. To understand native speakers easily, it's important to quickly recognize chunks. Chunks are expressions that we use often. They can be short, two words, or longer, but the important thing is to recognize the sounds. For this activity, listen to each extract on the lesson webpage. So we're gonna listen to them together. And then complete the extracts below and check your answers with the correction at the end of the worksheet. So we're going to check it too to see how well you did. So let's go ahead and listen to this first extract and see if you can understand the words that are missing from this extract of the conversation. So Colleen, so you went to Europe not too long ago, I think, wasn't it? Yes, I left last year, just okay. about this time last year. Okay, yeah, and like, where did you, like, how long were you there? How long were you there for? Um, I was there for three years. Okay, um, yeah. I was in the U.S. military, uh -huh. so I was stationed in a small little town for a NATO base in Germany. Okay, like, so you weren't actually touring Europe for three years, like, you lived there for three years? Yes, okay. I lived there, but I got to travel, like, on my, sorry, it's off Buzz, time. Yeah, we're outside. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I lived there for three years. Okay, so let's see if you could catch what was missing from this conversation. Now, it's quite difficult because you only listened to it one time. But like I said, you can go and get these resources uh, with the links that are in the notes. And you can go back and you can listen as many times as you want. All right, let's check and see how you did. So what was missing is I was stationed. Now, you see here. It says, in a small little town on a NATO base in Germany. Um, now, when I'm reading it a little slowly and articulating, maybe it's easier to understand. But when you heard it in a real conversation, you heard that it was very different. And it sounded like this. U.S. military. Uh -huh. So I was stationed in a small little town for a NATO base in Germany. That's quite different from when I say it in a slow, articulate way. 
Then the second expression that you heard was, I lived there, but I got to travel. So again, when I'm saying it slowly and articulate, articulating clearly, you can probably understand, but in a real conversation, listen to the difference. I lived there, but I got to travel. Like, I lived there, but I got to travel. Like, All right. So you can see there's quite a difference. And if you, you know, your ear is just not used to having these sounds, it can be difficult and frustrating and challenging to follow a conversation. But again, if you train your ear and you do these exercises and you start hearing things more clearly, and it's much easier to understand these real conversations. All right. Then... The next one, I am going to invite you to try on your own. Uh, you can go and get this worksheet. You can get access to the audio files, and you can just practice and train your ear with these exercises to catch those fast-spoken expressions. And then when you're ready, go ahead and join that course, Understand Real American English, because it's going to give you tons more exercises like this. You're going to get the full videos of the conversations, the full transcripts so that you can follow everything that we're saying. And when you join before Wednesday, um, May 6th, you're also going to get invitations to special live sessions with me where we're going to go through some of this les these lessons together and I can answer all your questions about vocabulary, pronunciation, check your own pronunciation if necessary. Um, so go ahead and check that out. I'll put the link to um, the page for the course in the chat or in the notes and have fun with it. Enjoy it. Enjoy the process of training your ear. You'll see that it's quite challenging, but at the end, when you manage to do it, you'll feel really proud of yourself and you will have such great rewards because you can understand real conversations, you can understand movies, and it's just this fantastic feeling of freedom. Right. All right, you guys, that's all for today. And I will, I hope to see you in the course. Bye for now.